following Turbo's Game of Life project and wondering if there's a way to overcome complex relationships. I mean, if we have linear collections, we can iterate through entities fast. Let's say we access through columns, but as soon as we get to access rows, it gets much slower. Yeah, this was definitely one problem that I noticed with my, my Game of Life because, you know, again, basically the way that I spawned all the entities was just, you know, linear, linearly. So, which is fine if like the entity count's pretty low because, you know, most likely entities are going to be, you know, looking at other entities within the same chunk. But then when you stretch it out and then it's only like, you know, in one row is like basically your whole chunk of entities. Most of the time you're going to be getting cash misses. Um, so yeah, I mean, there is, there is one thing that, yeah, that, that is one thing that I, I really wanted to do um, with that project is like implementing something like, I believe it's called like a Hilbert curve um, where basically instead of just kind of spawning all the, uh, entities like linearly you kind of spawn them in this like kind of like curved pattern right yeah so yeah, 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 yeah. most of the time you're going to have like good data locality about you know entities within the same chunk are going to be all next to each other uh, let me see if i can kind of pull it, up it kind of reminds uh, me of how uh, when you like um allocate graphics uh, like you know you, you you're making a native version of like a vulcan uh, rendering library or something uh, they actually have the ability to specify what is the actual storage pattern um, of this texture, and right. specify whether it should like should this texture just be linearly stored like this uh, classic texture approach, or should it actually be that you know the first is like one uh, tile and then I'm storing the next tile and then um, so that my general and that's the the one that I think they call optimized in Vulkan um, because it is just you know. Um, how the graphic cards kind of expects tiles to be stored. Yeah, do you have any other thoughts on uh, complex entity relationships? No, I, I mean, a lot of complex relationships in, end up just being like, um, you have to kind of store them already prepared for that uh, relationship uh, to happen. Um, because just kind of like know. thinking about the problem ahead of time and just kind of like exactly. figure and out you know, what your data is and all that. Thinking about it ahead of time or at least being able to like switch out that uh, layout. Uh, so you might already in your uh, accessing pattern, like you made the thing for first work and do the thing, but you can see that you're, you're accessing this in a very dumb, slow way. Uh, and so now I'm like, okay, I can see uh, I'm going to extract some data. How, how am I normally? Uh, going through this pattern and then can I maybe try to allocate it first in that pattern um, which is as you said that the Herbert's curve is a, is a great example of something where you're like well I can just kind of already accelerate it for that case um, it also reminds me a lot of this uh, discussion we sometimes have at work where it's like um, not everyone can optimize for being the most optimized version of themselves. Um, like if rendering says I need to uh, live in this place in memory, um, and so for me to be optimal, then I have to be here. Um, then it can't, you know, say that that whole entity then should also be there, uh, because that means that what is physics now? I'm going to do well. Physics is also going to say, well, for me to be optimal, I need to be here, <laughs> and then. What you end up with is is a, a lot of like uh, separated out matrices where uh, every entity lives on their own just because they say that uh, I need to be the most optimal version for myself. Um, and so how poetic. The, 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 like the only way to really you know help with that is like say okay, we need to either find some happy medium that that is like the most common uh, relationship that they they can all uh, get a benefit from or. Uh, we separate it out entirely and say, well, uh, we store the physics allocation somewhere else, or we store the rendering allocation somewhere else, and then it gets to to uh, pick that, and then you have a, re a reference set. Right. It's like like optimized for the the most common case or the most kind of performance intensive case, and then kind of everything else is you know that's okay if it's kind of a secondary and maybe a little bit less efficient. Um, you know, because it's maybe not happening as frequently or when it does happen, it's not as costly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, it, it, it is so hard because you, you like everyone wants to be, uh, that system that, that gets to optimize for themselves. But if everyone does it, then no one gets to do it. <laughs>